Greetings, dear friends. Recently, I received an RTX 3060T graphics card from MSI for repair. The card had malfunctioned, rendering the display completely black. The monitor simply went black. The owner had taken it to a service center for repair. They diagnosed the problem with the power supply circuits but couldn't fix the issue, so the card was sent to me. I'm certainly no expert when it comes to graphics card repair, but I'll try to help our dear subscriber. In this case, since the card has already been serviced, I'll start with disassembly. I'll remove all the screws, the back panel, and the cooling system itself. Next, I'll inspect the board for any defects introduced by the service center, like any removed components or anything similar. Overall, everything looks good, so I'll move on to measuring the resistance of the power supply system. To be honest, I was hoping for a blown MOSFET that would cause a short circuit on the 12 volt line, but everything turned out fine. There are no clearly low resistances, except for the resistance to the video chip power supply, which is close to zero but that's normal. Well, I can move on to measuring the voltages. To do this, I connect the video card to the test computer and turn it on. The video chip doesn't heat up. Clearly, there's no power going to it. In this case, that's actually good. I can take my time taking measurements. As we can see, there is 12 volts near the auxiliary power connector. However, there are no other voltages on the board. I connected an oscilloscope to the measurements to determine which converters are currently operating. There is a PWM signal on a 5 volt converter. This is what its output looks like. 5 volts is stable. All other voltage converters are not operating. By the way, the RGB backlight is powered by the 5 volts converter, which is why it's currently lit. Logically, the active converter is most likely only responsible for the backlight. Otherwise, the other power supplies would likely have started. I draw this conclusion from this graph of the power supply system startup sequence. I found it on the CC channel. Incidentally, such information has to be gleaned bit by bit. It's rare for anyone to share it. And if you try to simply Google it, nothing usually comes up. Although, perhaps I'm searching incorrectly. Either way, judging by this graph and the fact that the 5 volts converter is working, we should have a 1.8 volts power supply starting. However, it's not working on the board, there's no such voltage, and there's no low resistance on the converters. This means we can't say for sure whether the corresponding converter isn't starting because the converter itself is faulty or because there's no signal to start it. To make things clearer, I'll try to explain the problem and troubleshooting steps using board view for a similar MSI RTX 3070-30T graphics card. I couldn't find board view. So, this controller is responsible for the 1.8 volts converter. It's not running. Only this 5 volts converter at its output is working. It's clearly written here that it's responsible for the backlight, that is, the 5 volts LED. The main 5 volts converter. This one, it's not working. Initially, I didn't know this was the main voltage converter. I thought the startup was blocked at the 1.8 volts converter. So, I started looking for its end startup enable contact. It's here. There's no voltage on it when the card is turned on. I found out that the signal through the resistor circuit should come from this element under the U26 position. The signal to start the 1.8 volts converter will come when there is 5 volts at the first pin of this component, which indicates that the 5 volts converter is working. The controller at position U22 is responsible for the 5 volts converter. It will only start when there's 5 volts at its enable pin. I didn't find a high signal here when I measured the third pin of the microcircuit. Because of this, the controller didn't start the converter. The start signal is generated by component U14. This is a dual NPN transistor. It creates a signal to start the main 5 volts converter. 
If there's a high level at its second pin, which indicates 5 volts, the converter will start. Voltage is supplied directly through this resistor, which is connected to 12 volts at one end. So, there's 12 volts at the corresponding pin of the resistor, but at the other, which should be 5 volts, there's only 1.3 volts, much less than 5 volts. Obviously, this is why the converter isn't starting. When checking the resistor's resistance with a multimeter, I got an open circuit, indicating a faulty resistor. I replaced it with another one with a 30 ohms resistance, as per the BORW specifications, but it didn't help. It still reads 1.3V so, I assumed the problem was with the dual transistor itself, to which the resistor is connected. Perhaps it had failed and started producing low resistance, causing the voltage across the resistor to drop significantly. Similar dual transistors are found on other video cards, so it wasn't difficult for me to find the right part on this Donor GTX 1060. By the way, here's the part model. I'm resoldering it onto our video card. In this case, I find it easier to use two soldering irons to avoid heating the entire board with a hairdryer. I clean off the flux. And this is what the result looks like under a microscope. I'm checking the operation. Now the coveted 5 volts has appeared on the second terminal of the resistor. The voltage converters are working, that's 1.8V and the video card has started displaying an image. Well, the defect is fixed. The card is ready for full testing. I use the superposition and 4 mark benchmarks to check its functionality. And, of course, I ran several fairly modern gaming applications. I didn't find any additional defects during the tests, and that completed the repair. Incidentally, this case was quite complex due to the difficulty in finding information on the power supply startup sequence. I was also lucky to find the board VIC, apparently for the graphics card. If I hadn't found all this information, the repair would likely have been doomed. I'll leave a link to the board VIC file in the description that helped me. Perhaps someone will find it useful. Well, dear friends, that's all for today. Thank you all for your attention, and see you at other repairs. Until then, 